first of all, like I said, we're trying to get you to start thinking 98% of your biblical scriptures are talking about on the inside other than the outside. You see, because your biblical scriptures came from where? It came from the Kabbalistic scriptures. And your Kabbalah is what? The tree of life, the autonomy of the body of God, which also comes from in Egypt, which I'll show you the actual picture of the Kabbalah coming off the walls of Egypt of the temple of Como Ombo. And this is the same tree of life with the, with the ten sephiras, the ten sephiras, the same tree of life and all uh, that comes from the temple of Como Ombo in, um, in Kemet. So this predates the, the Hebrew Kabbalah, but we understand now that the Hebrews was nothing but northern Ethiopians, and it was all black people, and it was different schools, just like you got a Clark, a Morehouse, a Morris Brown, where you would have Dendera, uh, you, would, you, you would have Philae, you would have schools in Ethiopia. So we talk about a whole educational system, which they did not discriminate each other against each other, saying, oh, this, your God is, is foul and this God is that. It was all one God. And you're talking about different schools of theology that later time we misconstrue as a war against, as a war against, um, uh, as far as different gods and one God becoming corrupt. That's the biggest bullshit ever. This is the Kabbalah. This is the tree of life. As you can see, this is Keva, which is the top scale. This is you down here. You are the lowest, you are the root. But anything is the root is the more primal or the most potent. You are the lowest, so therefore, you are the, you are the lowest. But on the other hand, because you are low, the other planets are waiting on you. Because if you understand the, the Kabbalah, the root chakra rises to the top. Now remember, this is just like your body. Just like you have your Kundalini chakra, which rises to the top, to Kelda, which is your crown chakra. So he says that... You are the highest deity in the omniverse. And he says this here, they put you over all the animals. So by you being the brother's keeper, it's just like your mother or something. She has to wait and sacrifice for you because the other ones are not as fortunate as you. Check. Now, it says, it says that the earth was a school for gods. The earth is a school for gods. Man shall harvest upon the earth. Man who has lost the vestige of the human and those who are on earth today it is written that the harvest is great that's talking about you black people now it says that the earth is a classroom for gods or the godhood not Mars not Venus not Jupiter not magnificent Saturn nor spiritual Neptune nor Pluto nor Mercury nor even the Sun in its bodies thus the lotus rises from the earth the lotus is the lotus that you see that grows along the mile the Nile Valley, the lotus that you see papyrus, it rises upon the earth. So they're saying that in actuality, you are, you are, this was a classroom for gods. So what happened was, is this. They put you here as an experiment, and they took the vibratory rate and they made it go down to a lower level. So therefore, when you first came here, you were gods. And you had these, 12 cosmic power zones, these 10 cosmic power zones that was open in you and you were gods and everything that you could, everything that you see the superheroes could do, you could do tenfold or a thousand times. What happened was the vibratory rate fell after so many thousands of years and you got encased into this mummified body. And this is the mummified body, which is this, which is this, which is the vessel that you have been limited with and this is the prison house as well as the earth being colony earth and all you got to do now what you're going to do is you're going to go and get you say well i never read that stuff in my bible because your bible comes from the kabbalah now the precursor to the bible is the kabbalah now if you want to get a, a bible un, the kabbalah understanding let's say the spheres and the sephiroth and the cosmos and the, and, and the and the, and the actual chakras and the, and the centers in your body. Then you're going to get William Gray's book, Ladder of Lights. Or you're going to get Dion Fortune's book, Mythical Kabbalah. Now, if you want to understand biblical scriptures, now you want to find out, because that's the Kabbalah, that's the scientific Kabbalah that the ancient priests used. Now remember, you have in, your, in, in, in spirituality, you have esoteric religion, exoteric religion. In esoteric religion, exoteric is what would be your major world religions. But the Christians, they have the Gnostics, where the priests went and learned how to be Christ. You know, Jesus went, the Essenes, the Sethians, 
The Hebrews had the Kabbalistic, and also they had the, they also had what you would call the, um, the ancient Egyptian mystery system. The Islamic has what? The Sufi Muslims. The Buddhists have what? The yogis. So each time you have a school that is on the exoteric level, you have an esoteric school where the priests learn how to go and raise themselves up to Godhood. So now you have your esoteric Bible or Torah. Your exoteric is the Kabbalah. Or your book of coming forth by day. That's your esoteric, which should be your hidden. Now, you have several Kabbalists that's going to tell you how to go up these spheres. And each sphere represents a, a chakra, represents a planet, it represents an angel and all of that. But if you want to understand the scriptures out of your Bible, you're going to get Waits Holy Kabbalah. This is Waits Holy, A.E. Wait is his name. It's called a Holy Kabbalah. The study of the secret doctrines of Israel as unfold as the sons of the doctrines and the benefit and the constellation and of the elect and the, dis and, and the dispersed through the greater lands of exile or greater exile. Now this is coming from Citadel Press. So now this is the book that you want to get that is dealing with, that is dealing with uh, the scriptures.